Back, Sunita Williams, the NASA astronaut, is on her way back to Earth now after nine months at the International Space Station after problems with her initial recovery ship proving to be a huge issue. Her ride back is a SpaceX Dragon ship. She splashes down in what the U.S. now calls the Gulf of America at 3.30 a.m. Uh, our Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister Modi, has written to her wishing her all the best. So some images uh, from the International Space Station uh, and shortly thereafter um, the Dragon uh, mission to bring them back to Earth started. I can't spot Sunny Williams over there, but I presume she is somewhere. But uh, shortly after the video you see there, uh, you can actually see the undocking taking place, uh, and she is now uh, on her way back. Uh, Pallav Vaglav, our, our science editor, joins us now. You know, Pallav, um, the International Space Station is in low Earth orbit. Why does it take so much time to actually make the journey back to Earth. It started at, I was watching, I think, at uh, a little after 9 a.m. this morning, and it's going to be 3.30 a.m. tomorrow uh, when she does splash down. So wh why does it take so much, so much time? Not the distance as the crow flies which matters. It is the orbital mechanics of getting everything right so that the splashdown is at the correct time, at the correct place where recovery can happen. So it's a complex process, and if it were a straightaway cargo mission, then it could have been much faster straighter. But there are humans involved, and the safety of the humans there is most important. And the recovery process is what actually determines when they exit the International Space Station and where and when they land. It's a very complex process, and that is what is important. No, and I think that's an important point, Pallav, because, you know, we've seen uh, crews being recovered all the time uh, from the International Space Station, um, from the Russian Space Station when it used to exist. But it's always difficult. It's extremely complex. It requires phenomenal engineering, and the entire re-entry procedure is fraught with danger, right? It is fraught with danger. Uh, see, one is, one is coming down, and it's a re-entry process. So the heat which is generated by the friction on the outer layer of the space capsule is very, very large, almost to the tune of 14, 1500 degrees centigrade. Uh, that's that's the, uh, the heat which comes on to the space capsule because of the friction. And all of that has to be dissipated so that the astronaut inside can remain safe. Uh, there, are, uh, there are special materials which are there. They ablate, meaning they burn off to keep the heat in so that the heat doesn't enter. And the insulation have to be very strong. And after that, once a splashdown happens, like the SpaceX Crew Dragon uh, splashdown or the landing is in sea, and then the recovery process has to become, which is best to begin, which is to pick up the Crew Dragon from the sea, bring it onto a ship, and then get the astronauts out safely. Uh, all of this very tricky, and if at the last minute changes happen at the primary landing site, an alternative landing site has to be used, or if weather packs up at a particular site, then they abort the mission and keep them in orbit for another 24 or 48 hours. Uh, tomorrow's, uh, tonight's weather conditions, tonight meaning in the night for India, it's going to be daytime in America, uh, the weather conditions are supposed to be pristine at, at the main and the secondary landing site. So uh, hopefully landing should happen at 3.27 a.m. India time. And uh, astronaut Sunita Williams should be back after her 286-day journey in space. It's not the longest by an astronaut. Others have spent longer times, but it is long enough for people to get worried. Um, Ajay Lele joins us as well. He tracks space very, very closely. Thanks, uh, Dr. Lele, for being with us. It's not going to be a get out of the ship and walk away or swim away type of situation for Sunita Williams, is it? Uh, adjusting back to gravity uh, takes time. Uh, it's not easy, and physiologically there are changes. Uh, what happens to astronauts when they do return after a particularly lo long stint at the International Space Station? I think there are a lot of health-related challenges which they encounter. But if you look at these two astronauts, particularly Sunita Williams, she had earlier been into the space twice. 
he had spent around 322 days altogether in her last two missions. And now if she has gone for the third mission, that means her health has gone back to the normal and then only she was able to undertake this mission. Uh, so I think one should not get unduly worried that there will be a major impact on the health. Uh, but uh, NASA has got a very well-conceived uh, program, which is a rehabilitation program, which takes place anything between, say, 21 days to 45 days, uh, where they have got around three phases of under this program. And a lot amount of a testing is done. You see, before they take off, the pre-flight testing is done. Subsequently, when they are there on the International Space Station, they are supposed to work out around one hour to two hours. A certain amount of exercise module is already decided. That is to stay safe into the International Space Station. And also there should not be any major impact on their health after they get back. So after they get back, there are a lot amount of issues from microgravity to gravity you are coming. Basically what happens is that you must have seen in all photographs, they have got a habit of mostly using their hands. Now, after you get back to the Earth, you are now in impact of the Earth's gravity. So definitely you have to understand how to start rewalking uh, uh, on surface of the Earth, so on and so forth. But if you see the pattern of the tests which have been conducted, there's a very systematic pattern of the tests. Their health conditions are monitored just before they take off. And after they get back, there's a comparison which is done with the health conditions. Mm -hmm. So right from their eye testing, right from their speech testing, even their skin, particularly the part of the skin which is exposed to uh, radiations, one can say over there, uh, they undertake the photographs of that, compare and contrast with the earlier photographs when they had undertaken the things. Then particularly heart, blood-related issues are very common over there because of operating in a microgravity atmosphere. So a lot amount of a testing will happen in next two to three days. There will be a physical testing, there will be laboratory testing, there will be physiotherapists who will be available. So it's a very structured program because, you see, uh, International Space Station is operating with humans since the year 2000. So NASA fully understands that how to look after these things. So they have got a rehabilitation program. And as it was uh, brought out by Pallav, that people have stayed for more amount of time. In fact, uh, a Russian astronaut on a MIF station had stayed for more than 400 days. And he also regained his uh, total health conditions after right. he got back. Uh Pallav, our Prime Minister, has reached out to Sunita Williams. I found that a nice gesture. He's invited her to India, right? Among many other things. Oh, yes. The Prime Minister has been very closely tracking Sunita Williams, uh, not just on this journey, but uh, earlier journeys as well. Uh, uh, the last administrator of NASA told me they were in a meeting and Prime Minister went uh, straight and greeted Sunita Williams in that meeting. So, so they have a relationship. After all, there is the Gujarati blood running somewhere, and the Gujarati blood uh, comes to the fore. Uh, blood is uh, thicker than uh, water. So, sometimes there is love in Gujarat. It comes in the same way. So, in the same Prime Minister has written to Sunita Williams, welcomed her to India. And I'm sure there's a big meeting coming up in May uh, by the Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, if all goes well, you will... One would expect that uh, astronaut Sunita Williams may turn up for that, at least virtually, if not in physical uh, uh, condition. But the rehabilitation process, as uh, Dr. Lele was saying, is very structured, very well understood. Uh, human biology, human physiology is well understood over the last 25 years of continuous presence in space. Uh, and astronaut Sunita Williams has had two long stints, and this is her third stint and uh, could be her last stint in space and she should be healthy very soon and like I've said many times she last time when I met her she told me she loves samosas and when she's back on earth she will have her samosas and her lucky charm Ganesh is probably going to play with her uh, uh, bring her luck and she should be back on earth in the next few hours. Yeah, she should. And that should, that'll be a fantastic end to this very extended mission. Dr. Lele, final question to you. The Boeing Starliner was supposed to bring her back. That was deemed at that stage to be unsafe. Uh, a huge setback for Boeing in, you know, this very high stakes battle to get um, spaceships built. Uh, SpaceX seems to have stolen a huge march over them, right? No, definitely. If you follow the Boeing Starliner program, it all started. In fact, Sunita William got associated with this program way back in the year 2015. 
then subsequently a lot amount of uh, uh, missions were delayed uh, if you remember a few incidences where she had uh, all dressed up sat inside the spacecraft but subsequently the mission got cancelled and all that uh, so it has been very tough going you see at end of the day it's a rocket science and it's very difficult to master that science but as far as Boeing Starliner is concerned, uh, they got back safely. I mean, so one should accept that reality also. That yes, NASA was careful and one has to be careful when it is a human mission. So Boeing Starliner got back safely. When they went into the space, there were certain issues of uh, some uh, hydrogen and helium leaks and all that. Uh, so that's okay. I think they are going to work out. Uh, but uh, to best of my understanding, by the year 2025, they will not be able to take the flight again back to the space. So it's going to take some more time for them to again have and establish sure. a fully operational and a human-grade uh, rocket launcher system. Well, I'd like to thank you both very much for joining us. We're out of time completely. Remember, 3.30 a.m. is when Sunita Williams' is, uh, spacecraft splashes down into what was called the Gulf of Mexico till recently. It's now called the Gulf of America. But before that, a series of very complicated maneuvers uh, would be in place. And again, as we mentioned earlier on in this discussion, the process of re-entry, it's complicated and it is dangerous. But that's something uh, that is expected. Hopefully, uh, it should end out uh, all well.